Welcome Aries Taurus to your numerology reading for December. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's get in here and see what Spirit has for you this month. for Aries Taurus. What are they needing to know this month? What numbers are you giving them, Spirit? Financial discipline with 48 and 32 music. So 3 plus 2 is 5, so that is going to bring a change. Um, could even be a change just within vibration, moving you up to positivity through music. Wow. And um, you got uh, A plus 4. Four is 12, uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, sorry, <laughs> I was like 12, <clears throat> okay, and so it's 3, so you might be seeing the 3, the 2, the 4, the 8, the 5, um, so you might be seeing these numbers, okay, uh, that's how spirit talks to you, is through numbers, colors, things like that, things that vibrate, a lot of people do see those things, um, I know I do, <laughs> Um, so you might be wondering why you keep seeing these numbers. This is why. Um, so with the financial discipline, they really want you to know that it is time for you to get disciplined within your finances. Um, if you're spending too much money, um, you need to cut back. You need to start holding on to money. Um, something of this nature. Let's see what the card says. It says this card indicates a need to for financial discipline. If you wish to build a strong foundation for your future, you are constantly surrounded by opportunities to attract abundance. However, you must follow up with action if you wish to see the results. Setting the intention to be financially secure and then taking appropriate steps such as putting a little money aside each week is enough to shift your vibration towards the outcome you desire. Okay. Perhaps you've been spending money on unnecessary things rather than saving for your dream. Maybe a play now, pay later. Mentality has left you living on credit or in debt. Perhaps it seems that money goes out faster than it's coming in. Whatever the case may be, you're being encouraged to adopt an attitude of abundance. Seek financial advice, budget, attend a workshop, or read a book about creating wealth. Okay, so it, like I said, and then it says right here, this card is also encouraging you to be financially disciplined and strong since like attracts like. It is a, mag a magnetic vibrational world and you attract what you are. You need to have a healthier relationship with money to bring it into your life. Abundance is a state of mind. So eliminate any limiting beliefs that are blocking your financial flow. With a positive attitude and discipline, you can create financial security and abundance. Quit telling yourself you're poor. I went through this for years. I mean, years. Um, and you know, it's a set thing. I think that for most of you, and it's in my case, I know this for a fact. Um, number one is children, we're told money doesn't grow on trees. That is the absolute truth. You have to work your butt off for it. Number two, a lot of people's families tell you, you're only worth so much. Um, you can only get so much. Uh, you weren't born into a billionaire house, so you're not, don't expect to ever have this or that. Um, you live in this area, in this type of area, so you're expected to be like everybody else in the area or like your family. These are negative lies. Lies. That's all it is, you guys. They're lies. Except for the one that money doesn't grow on trees because that is true. <laughs> it does not. I wish it did. I mean, I do have to work very hard. But the, I have heard within my life so many times your grandma and your grandpa and your dad and I can only amount to this much money. So don't you think that you're going to go and make any more money than what we all make? You're only worth this much. That's a frigging lie. You're worth as much as you put into yourself. You know, if granddad and grandma, your dad and mom were only like truckers or somebody who worked you know what I'm saying? Like this, like let's say they're blue collar. You go to college and want to become a white collar, you're already going to make, you'll make probably about as much as granddad, grandma, and mom and dad made. 
you know, all in one setting. Okay? Right? You're going to make as much as all four. So that's the lie, right? That's the lie that we're told. Or you're born in this area, in this neighborhood, and this neighborhood don't get nowhere. So don't expect anything great. Because, you know, you're going to be just as, as much like everybody else. Okay? Well, wait a minute. Why would you tell me I cannot have this? You tell your... Don't... Don't tell yourself you can't have this. You're not good enough for this. It's, it's life. You can do whatever you want to do. And whatever you put your mind set to. You know, if you're smart enough to go be a doctor, and that's what you want to be, then you're probably going to become a doctor. Don't listen to, you know, well, you know, I don't think you can afford the college to get, well, you know what, there's sponsorships, there's programs, yeah, I might have to pay for it for the rest of my life, maybe I will, maybe I won't, right? But to tell someone that they're only worth this much, that is the downplay that we are raised with. That's why a lot of these issues are happening, okay? Yeah, exactly. Three of Pentacles, you're going to get out of this and you're going to change this whole concept. And for those of you who are spending too much money and you're not getting enough money back, you need to start saving that money and start realizing what you're spending your money on. Okay. Because you can't sit here and say, well, I want these new pair of shoes, even though I got some two months ago. Um, I don't have any money for them. I'm poor. Um, the more you keep saying you're poor, the more you're going to be poor. Just plain and simple, just leave it there. The more you keep saying, I'm going to be rich, um, and rich doesn't mean you're going to be a you know, billionaire like Trump or anything. That's not what we're talking about. It just means financially suitable enough for yourself that when you do want those shoes, you know you have the money to go get those shoes without having any discrepancies um, with bank accounts, credit cards, or any of the above, right? So it's rich for yourself. And then some of you really just truly really will be rich. <laughs> I mean, you're going to work your butt off and you're going to say, oh, nope. Nope. Okay, so right here, it's that weakness and contradiction that you keep giving yourself. You keep contradicting yourself. It's almost like one page check. You're like, woohoo, I made tons of money. Went out and spent it all and it's like, oh, no, I can't help you. I can't help you. I can't do anything because I'm not rich. I don't have the success. But I got a new pair of shoes. Now, you need to learn how to divide your money with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is telling you how to divide money. This is for your bills. This is for your savings. This is for yourself. Now, what do you have left over? Yeah. And if you still don't have enough saved for that thing, you're going to keep saving until you have it. So, once again, this is my bills. This is my savings. This is my play money. My money. Okay, that's how you're going to grow your money. That's how you're going to grow your success for yourself is by dividing. Okay, so this is, this is telling me that for a lot of you, you have long overdue payments that are rolling in for work that are past due. Now it's time to, for the old debts to be collected. They won't, the collectors won't leave you alone. Why? Because you didn't save properly or you spent too much or something, right? However it is, it's going to be different for everyone. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to have to figure out how to do this. You're going to have to have the Midas touch. You're going to give yourself the Midas touch. Okay, that's, what's, that's what Spirit's telling you. Give yourself the Midas touch. Tell yourself, hey, you know what? I got this paycheck or whatever it is. Maybe it's a um, disability check. However it is, I'm going to spend it on these bills and food. And then I'm going to save $10. And then I'm going to put away right? Some play money. So that way you're going to have three different areas, you guys, three different areas. Screw the savings and just the regular work money. I've done that. It doesn't work. I'm giving you the best idea because this is how I got out of debt. Okay. This is what I did. Bills, food, everything that you need. Saved money. Save that 20 bucks, put $15 away for play money. Every paycheck, all of a sudden you have saved money you can rely on later. And this is your play money. Right? Plain and simple. One, two, three. That's it. 
Spirit says, well, you know, that's it. It's that easy. Mind frame, mindset, getting yourself back, right? Not contradicting yourself. That way when the crap hits the fan, you're saying, you don't have to say, oh, we'll only have a savings account, but I can't go to the movies. No, no, no. You get to go to the movies and use your saved money because you might not have much in the bank, but you still have saved money to roll over on. You know, and of course, at that time, if you don't have much money, you probably don't want to go to the movies just yet, right? <laughs> yeah. Stop doing what you're doing. Stop saying what you're saying. Start getting more disciplined in how you're spending money, saving money, um, and the way you're saying you have money. Take it how it resonates. Music. Now, it's very interesting. Like, these are two different, whole different things. Like, why would music come up? What is the importance of music? <clears throat> music is for the soul. So, yeah. So, let's see why Spirit says music. What does that in the world have to do with finances, <laughs> you know, it's like with a, unless some of you are in the music business, right? If you're in the music business, hey, keep playing your music. But seriousness, um, the card indicates a need to listen to music you enjoy in order to improve your health, well-being, and overall quality of life. Playing, singing, composing, or listening to be beautiful music that fills your heart with joy automatically raises your vibration and enhances your connection to the source. Because you attract what you feel in this magnetic vibrational world, you will constantly feel good when you make your dreams come true. Music is the ultimate way to bring yourself into alignment because the only because it only takes a few minutes to sing your favorite song in the shower rather than worry about that all day long. Okay? So why is music here? Because music is going to help you manifest your dreams. Music is going to raise the vibration so that way when you get ready for your finances, you're going to be in a higher vibration and you're going to have a better understanding of how you're going to do everything. So yes, it's all connected. That way when you go to do your finances and you're sitting down, you'd be like, you know what? I'm going to listen to this music on my way to go see the financial counselor or whatever you're doing and you're going to be much happier. And then you're going to be like, oh, wow. And it's going to bring in better inspiration because when you're dealing with finances, it's so depressing. It is such a downer, especially when you're looking at negative numbers or you know you have this much debt or you don't exactly understand how to do things. Get yourself into a higher vibration so that way you can look at it without a depressed eye and mind. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Absolutely, it makes sense because if I just went to go do, you know, went to go do my finances right now, I'd be like, damn, I won't be here. This shit sucks. My life sucks. And then all that negative is going to come out. But you go to listen to music first and you look at it and you're like, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Because now music makes you more, it gets into your intuition. So you're actually opening up your intuition. So now you're going to look at it and you're going to be like, yeah, I guess we could fix this. Yeah, this stuff still sucks, um, but I see where we could fix this. I see where we could put money over here and put it over there. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to open everything up. So, yes, here it says get yourself into a better position before messing with these finances. Yes, because otherwise you're going to travel down the wrong road and you're not going to go very far. You're just going to be mad, depressed, upset. So, yes, this is going to open you up. Yes, Page of Swords is going to be able to research, observe better, and be able to understand and having the understanding when you get back to the resources of how you're going to do things. Wow. And it's going to look so much more hopeful with the Ten of Swords. That way you're not really having the Ten of Swords. You're going to kind of like be pulling them out as you go because you're going to say, you know, and look, there is hope. I see where we can do things. And this is going to give you self-assuring. That's a lot better than the contradicting and the weakness you were giving yourself about the situation. You're now self-assured. Why? Because you can see deeper into the situation without having all the negatives, you know. 
I mean, you look at your bank statement, next thing you know, you're like throwing it on the floor, you know, screw this. I've been there, done that one. So yes, it's going to make you more self-assured to open up, to be able to move into a positive direction, giving you more thoughts and more opportunities to be able to see different things, right? Seeing the black versus the white, seeing the pros and the cons of the situation. Absolutely. So music, that's going to be the key for you, uh, Aries Taurus, um, which actually makes a lot of sense. good way to get you open. Okay. Yes. And it's going to keep you out of any kind of anxieties because it's going to open your eyes up to be able to see things, getting you into a higher vibration. Okay. And then that way you can go try to work on the things that you need to do with a positive outset and positive mind and using that intuition. Let's see what your soul wants you to know. Very beautiful reading. Thank you, spirit, for that. light. My light radiates through my life and the world around me. You will be the light. Why are you going to be the light? Because you're going to see the light, number one, when you're listening to music, because it's going to open you up to say, ta-da! I see where the problems are, and I see what I'm doing wrong, and I see all the mistakes, and I see that I'm spending too much money, um, however it is. So, your soul wants you to know that now is the time for you to shine and remember who you are and where you came from. Your essence is radiant light. This is a good time to clear clutter, get rid of anything that you don't love or use. Clear out physical, emotional, and mental junk in order to make space for you to shine even brighter. So, and that would be getting rid of the Eight of Swords, right? Making sure that it's not there so that you can get down to business over here and fix the things that need to be there and also decluttering all that stuff I said in the beginning of the video um the you know um you know uh, I'm not good enough we only come from this kind of house or this kind of neighborhood this is our lifestyle you'll never rate that is declutter all of those emotions and all of that garbage that you have uh learned and it's all learning and unfortunately almost the majority of every person on this planet has been taught that um, I have noticed this. I've done actual my own research on that, and it is true. Um, the, they believe that because they came from this kind of neighborhood, that they can only achieve so much. Um, okay. So, or this kind of family, or, you know what I mean? However, and, and yes, it is something that has been taught to us that is nonsense. Okay, so you're going to shine your light bright and remember who you are. You are not granddad, you are not grandma, you are not your mother, you are not your father, you are yourself, and you can reach any goal you want to, okay? For me, myself, I always tell my kids, I hope you do better than I do, and set those goals, you know, those goals higher. Um, but yes, you remember who you are. You are not those people. You can do anything you want, okay? Peace and love to you, my friends, and until next time.